This has been super reliable. It doesn't overheat. It doesn't require reboots all the time. It's been super solid, guys. And sometimes it's not gonna be that speed that you expect like you have at home. Freight up there is really good with what he does as far as getting you set up with the right router. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. It's 2024, new year, new tech. We're gonna bring you in this video a way for you to get unlimited high-speed internet at a discounted price. Peak alert. Now, if you watched our last video we did on this, probably last March or so, we'll link it above. Many of you enjoyed that video. Many of you took advantage of a way to get internet. This is gonna go from the beginning. We're gonna talk about why RV internet is important on your RV, obviously, how you can get it, what's the most common way, and then how you can get unlimited internet and what you should be watching out for. So let's get right into it, guys. What is RV internet? Like if you never did this before, you have no technology, RV internet is the ability to get internet connect to the web in your RV. Now there's many different ways that you can do that, guys. Before we get into that, let's, why is this important? Some of you, you may not care. You go camping to stay disconnected. And if that's you, then this video is not for you. You're probably not even gonna be watching this video. But what are some reasons you will want internet on your RV? Well, the first big reason for a lot of people now is that they're able to work remotely and you need a good, stable internet connection to do that. Second reason, for school. I know sometimes we have Jason with us. He has to log in for school, do things like that very important. The third big reason is becoming even a more dominant reason, more widespread is streaming, right? Streaming of entertainment on your television, on your phone. That's a big thing that people do. More and more people are cutting the cable and they're going to streaming content for entertainment. The last big reason, this is not the only one, but one of the biggest reasons is technology on RVs. And when I'm talking about technology, a lot more RVs now are becoming connected. A lot of people that have older RVs are starting to make them smart RVs. So you're able to control the lights and the slides when you have remotely, or even your thermostat, or you're able to put security cameras or monitor what's going on. You can control all that remotely, but in order to do, to do that, you need a good internet connection. It's one of the most asked questions when people buy RVs is like, what is the internet set up and does it have solar? right those are the big ones but internet you're going to be using that all the time let's give you a cliff note versions what are the most common ways that you can get connected while you're on your rv so the cheapest most common way is going to be campground wi-fi and believe it or not it used to be really bad it is getting better because of that demand that people want a lot of younger people get into rving and just a lot of people in general are connected all the time so when we started rving what seven years ago or so campground wi-fi was pretty spotty and if you got it it tended to be pretty pretty bad. Now, over the last couple of years, most private campgrounds will have Wi-Fi. Public ones sometimes have Wi-Fi. And believe it or not, the Wi-Fi can be pretty good. Now, it's not gonna be as good as if you have your own connection. And sometimes it's not gonna be that speed that you expect like you have at home. Next common way, a lot of people are getting internet on the road. And this used to be like only for people that had a lot of money, but it's become down more to the common man is going to be satellite, specifically Starlink. Those are low level, low orbit satellite allows you to have high-speed internet pretty much anywhere around the world. We went on a cruise over Thanksgiving. We had high-speed internet in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, which is, think about it, it's pretty amazing. Relatively affordable, guys. Some downsides if you have coverage, like as far as trees that are covering, it's a little bit of a problem, but a lot of people have it, a lot of people like it, and it's something that's very common now. It's actually coming standard on a lot of new RVs. The third and the most common way people get internet on their RV is through cellular. So a couple ways through cellular, using your cell phone. If you just need this, you can go on. Most people now have a smartphone. If you're watching this video, you probably have a smartphone. Also these smartphones, they double as portable Wi-Fi routers. So you can turn on your wireless router on here and it broadcasts a signal and multiple devices can connect. So you can connect your laptop, your television, whatever else you want, your cameras. The disadvantage of that is that if you take this phone away from that location, say you have security cameras, you leave the RV, but you don't have the internet connection anymore. And there go your security cameras and a lot of the smart functions that might be on your RV. So although this is probably the cheapest way, it's definitely not the best way. Another big disadvantage is that those Wi-Fi hotspot data plans, they often tend to be limited. And when you hit a certain amount of data used, depending what your plan is, you'll 
usually get throttled down to almost an unusable speed. So that's really can be a big disadvantage. Now, one of the more popular ways of becoming more and more popular is going to be using your cellular connection or a cellular connection and getting one of these. Now, this is only one of many different types out there, but this is a cellular modem. So inside this box here, there's, there's essentially a modem like very much in your cell phone and you put a SIM card in it. And what that will do is these antennas right here will reach out, pull in that cellular connection, and then it will broadcast it out onto your RV via Wi-Fi, and uh, it gives you a secure connection. What, what are some advantages of this? Something, this is what we currently have. This is what we've had a setup like this for many years now. A lot of advantages, guys. Number one, you have a dedicated network on your RV. So this is specifically for our RV. You tend to get much better speeds with something like this. The hardware in here tends to be better than on a cellular phone. Also, if you look over here, these are your cellular antennas. This is a four by four MIMO router. And we'll put all the specs below to this. I don't wanna get into all the specs. We'll put it below if you're really interested. But you see all these antennas. If you choose to use it like this solo, you can do that. But these are removable. They have SMA connections. That's a standard connection. So if I remove this, all four, I'm able to use a roof mounted antenna, which we do. We have, it, have one up on the roof for about two and a half years now. But what happens if you bring that antenna up high it reaches out further, it increases your speed. So we get really good speeds on this. We'll give you some specs and we'll put the rest down below. Talk a little bit more about this specific router, guys. We got this, if you watched our videos, we got this at a local small business, this Chester Tech Repair up in Chester, New York, probably about 40 minutes from us. Freight up there is really good with what he does as far as getting you set up with the right router. He's very familiar with the RVers because a lot of RVers have gone to him and his reviews on Google are amazing. They're 4.9. What's really important is the equipment he sells is good. And then the technical support after is really good. We've been super happy. This is now our third router from him. And not because the routers don't work is that we keep upgrading every year because, you know, technology, like I like the tech, right? So a couple of highlights on this, again, four by four MIMO cellular, you have a Wi-Fi six, right? So to make things very simple for you, if you don't understand, essentially these antennas, like I said earlier, will bring the cellular signal in. The these antennas will put that signal out to you and then you connect. What's really nice about this is that you can set up, of course, your security passwords on here. You can set up a Wi-Fi guest network. You can name it however you want. If you want to geek out in there, which it gets really in depth, you can kind of lock into towers. It has all kinds of functions on here. What you want to really know are the speeds. What kind of speeds are we getting on here? And of course, the price. But before we get into that, some other specs, this does have 2.4, 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, frequency. So you really want the 5.8. You're going to get better signal on your Wi-Fi. That's kind of the standard. Also, it is 4G and 5G capable. So this will work on T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, AT&T FirstNet, Walmart plan, pretty much any plan in the US, unlimited plan will work on here. Now, why we chose to go to Chester, and we've done many videos again, we just wanna make, make you aware, just be aware of certain things out there. This is not a third party provider, guys. You're going to buy, you will buy this equipment and we'll tell you the price. And if, if this is not the one you like, he has many other ones out there, but you're going to buy this router. You're going to then bring in your own plan. What's nice about this is we're on at and first now we pay 40 bucks a month, $40 a month for unlimited high-speed internet. Now, a lot of people don't qualify for FirstNet, but if you get a prepaid unlimited data plan, you put the card in here, it works. That could be a Walmart plan, T-Mobile Home. I think they're as low as $40 a month. Cricket, what, as long as it's an unlimited data plan, it will work on here. You won't get throttled. You won't have any of that. You just, if you do the prepaid, you pay every month and you get your unlimited internet, whatever you want. You don't have to go through Chester Tech Repair. You buy this, he helps you set it up, and you bring your own plan. The reason why I say this is because, guys, we've tested a lot of routers over the years. There's a lot of companies out there. I know there's one in Jersey that sent us equipment. I think it was Connecting. Mm -hmm. was that? Yeah. They sent us the equipment. It worked. It was nothing compared to it. We, we actually sent it back. We said we had to test it out for about, it was close to a year. It was probably about eight months. Mm -hmm. The speeds were just not there. We were getting like 25 down, and it was very spotty. That's not to say it doesn't work. This is a lot better. I know with them, you don't own the equipment. 
equipment, this you own the equipment. And the big reason why you want to own the equipment is that this is just a box. The hardware inside you can upgrade all the time. So if you watched the video we did last year, we'll link it above, same box. But recently I went back to Chester and for a very small fee, you can update the modem in here. And that is what's constantly changing. So every year these things get faster and faster. Recently had a long trip to Florida, about 2,300 miles round trip. I did do speed test, stationary, moving both on AT&T FirstNet and on T-Mobile. Didn't do Verizon. So a lot of this depends on your signal, how much signal strength you have. And then of course the provider in the area. So I know where we live now, T-Mobile is not good. AT&T works, Verizon is not good. If I went 15 miles away from us, AT&T works great, T-Mobile works great, T-Mobile is way faster because they have 5G. So let's give you some speeds that I took speed test. So moving with this unit, the way it's set up on AT&T, five bars, of course, we got 228 down and 16.1 up on AT&T. With this same unit on T-Mobile, it's, it's kind of wild. 470 down. That's crazy. 37.6. 37.6 up. Again, nothing is perfect, guys. If you want the perfect solution, then you have to have a combination, right? You have to have a router with three different cards, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and then Starlink as a fail safe. And you can do that. There's setups out there. It's just gonna cost you a lot of money. If you're looking for something that's just economical, something like this, a similar router, you wanna be looking for something that you're providing the data plan. That way you're never gonna get cut off. You're controlling the data plan and you control the hardware. Do few now, right now we are AT&T. Like I said, we are in a place with bad signal. We have two bars right there. I'm gonna do a live speed test for you guys. Where we normally keep our router modem here is right in our cabinet. I'm just going, you could see I took the paddle antennas out and I put the SMAs. Just so you know what this comes with guys is gonna come with your paddle antennas, your power, of course, your antennas for your Wi-Fi, and that's about it. So if you wanna do an external antenna, you can certainly do that. We'll put the link to our antenna down below. So we just plugged it in. We're gonna let that boot up and I'm gonna give you a couple of specs here. This particular unit here, $495. That's with the Cat24 hardware in it. They do have different, you want Cat16, of course it's less, Cat18. And then they have other different routers out there, guys, that are from like $150 up to way more expensive. That's the beautiful thing about it. It's not just like that one-stop shopping, you get this router and that's it. All different types of routers, depending on how much you wanna spend. And what's more important, like I said earlier, is the customer support and get you set up with the right hardware. You're not expecting something that you're not gonna get. You're not, it's not a surprise. So we're letting this boot up. You'll see this will turn blue over here once it's getting a signal. It takes a couple minutes to boot up. We'll put the link down below to Chester Tech Repair. But what's more important, guys, if you use the discount code ENDLESSRVing, $25 off of any router you get there, which is pretty awesome. A I ton of people a have lot of people. Them. Put in the comments below, guys, if you have your Chester router. This is booted up right now. We're in a 4G area. If it was 5G, this would light up over here, but we are not in a 5G area. Here's a live, guys. We are connected. Again, we got two bars. It's the high speeds that we told you about before, but I think we're gonna get decent speed, definitely enough for streaming. So here we're connecting, guys. Bring this in here. You can see the ping, and here we go here. It's creeping up a little bit. There so we're around 50s or so down. That's pretty good download speed. That's definitely enough to stream. I think mm -hmm. uh, Netflix, you're probably gonna be around, I don't know, 15, 20, you need to stream. Yeah. The up is a little bit slow, but that is what is expected here. Again, we're two bars, 4G on AT&T. So that right there, guys, if you're going to be surfing the internet, if you're going to be streaming, that is more than enough. If you're going to be uploading, of course, it's gonna be a little bit slower, but if that was five bars, that would be well into the hundreds. So on average, if we have four to five bars, we're into the hundreds. If we're in the 5G areas, we're in those speeds that we just told you. This has been super reliable, huh? I know you work yeah. a lot online. Yeah, it's great. It, it, it doesn't is. overheat. It doesn't require reboots all the time. Like plenty once in a while, but it's running for just hours and hours. Right. We'll just have to reboot it, but it's been super solid, guys. Well, ultimately, when we go full time, I'm gonna have like the ultimate and king we're not going setup. Full time. Well, when we're most time, well, we have yes. the ultimate and king setup with the <laughs> The Starlink, but this is Starlink moving equipment. I think it's 2,500 bucks for the moving satellite. I think 150 a month. Guys, we pay $40 a month for this. When and we're on the road for months at a time, then, then, then and it, we'll... it would have to be that we're traveling to areas that are just super remote. Cellulars right. in most places, but mm -hmm. this is where great, any kind of set, it doesn't be the same router, any router with that you can bring your own data plan for 40 bucks, 50 bucks a month. 
it is a no brainer. So again, use the discount code ENDLESSRVing, $25 off. We'll put the link down below to Chester Tech Repair. Give him a call, tell him you saw us on our channel. He will help you out, I promise you, he will help he's you. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's awesome. In the comments below, let us know, do you have this setup? What kind of setup do you have? You have something else that maybe you're not happy with that you're looking to change? Put in the comments below. And then to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV Newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.